Good evening. Welcome to our complaint service at the Cathedral of St. George's in Cape Town. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for evermore. Amen. Hallelujah. Our evening song, our first song before the ending of the day. Psalm 31, verses 1 to 5. Psalm 31, verses 1 to 5, and then verse 19 to the end. The refrain, into your hands I commend my spirit. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me, make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me, for you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight of all for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from those who, stand, who, who slander them. 
You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me this, his steadfast love when I was as a city besieged. I said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried to you. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Love the Lord, all you his servants, for the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the fool the proud. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait in hope for the Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, when scorn and shame besiege me and hope is veiled in grief, hold us in your wounded hands and make your face shine on us again, for you are our Lord and God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forevermore. Amen. The scripture for tonight, 1 Peter 5, verse 6 and 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, may we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forevermore. Amen. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. In our prayers tonight, we bring before God the family of the Dean of Pretoria, Kenneth Mashishi, who is going to be buried tomorrow. We pray for Monica and her daughters. We pray for the Mashishi family, that the hand of love, the hand of compassion, the brooding of the Holy Spirit be upon him in these very trying times. We bring before God again today also the chaplain of Porches Room, Chaplain Matsaneng, who passed on. We just bring the family again to God, praying that your hand of love be there for them in this time of grief. We bring also again, Lord, the family of Terence Roda, who have lost his brother. Lord, in this time of grief and the very challenging time, we bring the Roda family to you, praying that your hand of love be there for them and you comfort them in a very special way. We thank you, Lord, again 
for the wonderful funeral service, the send-off of Andrew Mlangeni, which took place today. We pray that you continue, O oh God, to heal again our nation, O oh Lord, in the grief that it is going through in these very trying times. God our Father, whose son enjoyed the love of his friends, Mary, Mother, and Lazarus, in learning, argument, and hospitality, may we so rejoice in your love that the world may come to know the depth of your wisdom, the wonder of your compassion, and your power to bring life out of death. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our friend and brother, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look to you for you, O Christ. Come with the dawn of the day, dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. The blessing of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, rest and remain upon you, now and forevermore. Amen. Tonight, we want to close with this beautiful hymn from Taizeh. <laughs> 